Hello there and welcome to another Lego Star Wars video about the board intensive play Rama. Now before we get to comparing it against the diorama, I first want to let all of you new viewers know what I mean by play Rama. Because a while back when we got first images of this, I deemed the name play Rama more fitting for it. Because it's not just a playset, it looks too good to be a playset. And it's not just a diorama, it doesn't fit into the diorama category because of, well, mostly it doesn't have the black base that the rest of them do. So I deemed it a playrama and we'll find out in this video if it is indeed the best title for this set. And I think the perfect playset turn diorama to compare this to is my custom Dark Trooper Attack diorama because... Similar to the Tantive, and I'm sure by the time the weekend is up, I'll have turned this into a diorama itself. And before that, of course, we've got a very, very long video tomorrow, which I'd love if you do decide to check out. But they're not too far off the scale. I mean, to count, this is 24 bricks. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20, 22, 24. So it's about this length. And as I say in either yesterday or tomorrow's video you could definitely cut short this end bit and just replicate what's going on here and then cut off all the extra back bits especially if you're not fond of the mechanism which i do have to say i am really fond of so if i do end up making this into a diorama i might even do a similar thing for here so originally with the Dark Trooper attack playset, we had a feature with the lift and Luke. You could actually spin it around. Luke couldn't have his lights. We well, could have his lightsaber, but it was a very tight gap. And especially with how big the lift actually is, really Lego had to do it a bit bigger or just keep it the size it was. So I ended up bricking it in. And now I've seen this mechanism over the right eye. Definitely. Wouldn't mind reworking that and having some sort of, perhaps not a sliding door mechanism like you can see on camera, but something similar that would pivot Luke exactly 180 degrees. So I'll have to look into that and perhaps revisit the Dark Trooper attack as it is getting a bit dusty just sitting here on my shelf. But as you can see, it's a very similar idea with the pair of them. I've still got my troopers, stormtroopers, rebel troopers, set up like I did at the end of yesterday's video because I think this is one of the best ways to lay them out and you've got the play features here which you had kind of similar to the Dark Trooper attack of course the rebels and troopers are shooting each other in a new hope we see they're just throwing themselves about where I guess there weren't as many special effects to convince us they were getting shot at so the actors themselves decided to be diving all over the screen and this replicates that very well with the play features that if you would like to see them in action, check out both of them videos because this trooper or whoever was situated on this one goes flying. But we had our similar mechanisms with the Dark Trooper attack. Again, I've built this into a diorama so I can't show you. But we had some swivel plates where Luke is taking down all the Dark Troopers. And these are really the closest sets. Now the biggest difference between the two is price. This Dark Trooper attack retailed for £25 and I found one for less than that and managed to. I'm pretty sure it was £25. If I am wrong, I will correct myself when editing, but I was able to pick one up for half price for about £12, just better than half price or even better if it weren't £25 at retail. Whereas this Tantive, it's a bit bulkier, it's a bit more of a stronger build. This is two of them playsets. So you only got the one lift, a little section here, an archway. And then I believe there was only two of the stickered wall elements here, which we can take a closer look at. Pretty much every detail on this wall is made with a sticker. You take away the stickers and you're left with a very, very plain wall. So it would have been nice to see Lego create some of them elements for themselves. But that also meant that... For two pieces, more or less this whole wall is made up of four pieces. So it's a lower piece count and is why it's a bit cheaper. But I would have loved to have seen something like this on the wall. Not obviously in the style of the Tantive, but for the cruiser here. Some, perhaps even some 2 by 3 slopes. We could get something in the middle there. 
and I might have to revisit that and brick that out myself just to bring it up to the standards of the Tantive, but they are both very similar sets. Now, if you take two of the Dark Trooper attacks, is it worth what the Tantive's worth? No, I don't think it's close at all, and that's not to say the Dark Trooper's worth more. I think, actually, the Tantive is much better value. Now, you're looking at four minifigures for the cruiser dark trooper attack and we did get six for the tantive it would have been much nicer if we got eight but out of them four minifigures one of them was luke and we got three dark troopers whereas even when captain anseles is involved you could definitely add him into a crowd of rebels and it doesn't matter how many you have he's still just a rebel captain at the end of the day i don't think there's too much of an identifying feature I guess he's got quite a simplistic face, which is nice because it means that he just resembles any other captain that you'd like. So you can definitely have a few of these. And the only character really that doesn't stack is Vader, who is just hiding behind this door here. So perhaps we'll bring him up so it looks like there's actually the six characters. And we do actually get a bonus character with this, which I definitely think has influenced the price a little bit in five. So... We get seven minifigures, which is very, very close to eight. I know this isn't how the Lego math works, because then we get only three or four troopers. So I just had to check because I completely forgot, but we get four troopers in the battle pack. That would mean a trooper, well, four characters are worth about £25. Would it have been nice to get a bonus minifigure in here? Absolutely yes. I would have loved to have, even though I've got a Princess Leia, I'd have loved to get another layer in here. Perhaps we could even get a C-3PO and R2-D2. I'll tell you what, it would have been a lovely set to get the new R2-D2. They would have felt very out of place, but definitely getting a layer for the quick interrogation scene where Vader's asking her the quick fire questions when he boards the Tantive shuttle. And again, I just would have loved a layer in this set, so we could have got a layer or an Antilles in the midi scout Tantive. Even both of them characters in the MIDI scale Tantive. There are two sides to that plaque at the bottom. But we're not talking about that today. That was another video. So I think I'm going to count fives. And there were seven minifigures. Perhaps we can position fives on the Tantive. Which side? He's a trooper. I guess he'd actually be on the rebel side here. So he has joined the rebel alliance. And survived the attack it was all a ruse in the clone wars fives didn't die he's actually alive and is a member of the rebel <laughs> alliance now but as you can see minifigures are roughly the same we got a lot of these dark troopers which weren't exclusive to this set in fact i think the only character that was is luke skywalker because he is the only other character that we got so it was nice to get a luke skywalker it also matches up to the Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi because we actually have some grey robes where they filmed the scene it looks like he has grey robes over his black which I think he does at the start of the movie but not later on under his Endor cloak I can't really remember how it works out it might have even been a deleted scene but it does work well for a Return of the Jedi Luke so I've taken my other Luke and added him into the Return of the Jedi display on my unit behind me but as I say it was nice to get two of these so i could stockpile the dark troopers and right now you can still pick up the stormtrooper mech the rebels are a bit harder to come by as i believe their only other set they're currently in is the yavin ceremony set which is definitely a very expensive set if you wanted to try and stockpile these minifigures but hopefully we get something soon like a battle pack for rebel minifigures because we got one a while ago and I remember it selling very well. I didn't pick it up because I wasn't quite buying Lego sets for myself at the time. But I definitely would have if it came out now. And it'd be a nice set to get. But you can always get the troopers, the rebel troopers that you've got over the year from your personal collection. Add them to it and definitely build your armies on either side. So they're size wise pretty similar. In fact the Tantive is a little bigger and I'll probably have to reduce it a little bit when making my mock you get about the same amount of figures in each of these sets again i think we definitely are adding some sort of tax for fives here so seven mini figures is definitely about right and we get a very similar play feature with the door sliding or the spinning lift 
and the firing storm and rebel troopers with all of Luke's different features and force effects you can recreate with the display. So I can't wait to turn this into a diorama again. I'll probably be doing that in the next few weeks, hopefully the next few days. So stick around for that. And though it is more expensive, if this was half of the diorama, I mean, they would have cut back on this bit on the left. Let's position it next to the dark trooper attack because that is really what you'd be comparing it to so it looks like we'd have a lot less on this wall here which this wall is what really makes it feel like it is worth the 50 quid that you paid for you've got two bricks wide of a wall here dark trooper attack only gave you the one and even then it wasn't as easy to pop them off as it is for my diorama but they're only panels which isn't exactly great quality for the set that it's representing i mean most people didn't seem to mind with a dark trooper attack especially because of the panels we're on but i'll definitely be recreating that at some point perhaps after i do my tentative diorama and it's very very true to the set we've got the printed element for the door a few stickers just to increase the accuracy which are they necessary well, that is up for you to debate in the comments. And the ingots and the different missing panels on the side really just add some realism to the set. Not to mention that unlike the Dark Trooper attack, which was meant as just a one-off and you couldn't really connect it, LEGO have learned that fans are going to be connecting them either way, whether they're told to or not. So we've actually got some Technic holes. The only problem is they didn't include them on the back, so... You can only connect two of these one way. Perhaps, I guess, if you buy more, you can definitely add one of the Technic bricks into there and switch them around because this is a 1x12 Technic brick and there is a brick on the other end that is also 1x12. Lego have definitely done that to make it easier to add the Technic connectors to the other end and have the two doors back to back so Vader can be storming through the Tantive. Or vice versa. You can even recreate the scene from Rogue One where he gets into the first part of it, but not quite the tentative door and they seal the door behind him. Just get rid of all the fire effects, have the door mechanism seal and leave Invader behind on the cruiser. But overall, I'm definitely happy I picked up both of these sets. Both of them are really worth it. Definitely the tentative more and it'd be interesting to see the quality of Dark Trooper playset that would come out for this price as there's just so much more detail than getting two at half the price. So I'm very happy I got this again. Check out the review from yesterday. Subscribe so you don't miss out that longer video for tomorrow where we talk over the current state of Star Wars in both sets and just as a theme generally coming up to the 25th anniversary. And I hope you do enjoy. As always, may the bricks be with you.